this is another hardcore typical problem okay so you have like all the information about uh, where it where it ends but you don't know how it's the initial data okay most of the time you know the initial velocity and the angle this time you need to find them out okay so you need to find this velocity and you need to find this angle but you know that from here to here that were uh, 40 meters and it took it 2.44 seconds okay so the first thing to do um, is uh, you can need to find like an expression for finding the velocity in x and the velocity in y okay those two are the things we need to know and the best thing to find out in the first place uh, so let's keep on going with that so for x we know that this formula is x0 plus v0 x and that is times time uh-huh so we need you know for sure that this is 40 meters the initial thing we assume it's zero we don't know the velocity in x but we know this time that is 2.44 so from there we know that the initial velocity in x is 40 over 2.44 and that is if i'm not mistaken 16.39 uh, okay meters over second in just in the x-axis okay now I'm gonna do exactly the same thing but for the velocity in y and that is uh, where's my mouse oh yeah here it is so in y we settle our typical equation that is this uh, plus initial velocity in y times time minus a half of the gravity times time squared okay so we know it fell down so the final uh additive is like exactly the same as the initial one we then know the initial velocity and why the time we know for sure it's 2.44 and uh, let's keep on going a half we know gravity it's 9.81 and we know time it's 2.44 squared okay so we solve here for y and we know that the o in y is going to be a half over no a half times 9.81 times 2.44 squared over 2.44 and this is if i'm not mistaken um 18 11.96 okay meters over second in y so if you remember each time we saw a vector let me change colors uh an orange will be fine uh every time we were in a vector you had x and y components the x component we know it already we know already to the y component okay so it's easy now for everything so uh, i'm gonna keep writing here the velocity the magnitude uh-huh it's gonna be the square root of the x component that is 16.39 squared plus 11.96 squared that is um 20.3 meters over second uh-huh and the angle is the a ton of the y component that is uh 11.96 over 16.39 and that is 36.1 degrees okay so check this out this time i finished with the displacement in x 
at the time and uh, I can basically do all the procedure the way all the way around uh, so I can get like the magnitude and the angle.